My dude's face is just gonna look straight up like a cat. Cause it's furry. <laughs> this, okay, you can't say there is a way of making a Khajiit not look like a cat. What would you do with a Khajiit? I would make a Khajiit. <laughs> I'd, make, I'd make a Dark Elf. Or a Nord. Or even a Red Guard. Alright, would you make an Argonian? No, I never really was interested in Argonian's Khajiits. Okay. So you're just anti furry. Exactly. <laughs> just out of curiosity, what is your definition of a furry? What do you think makes furry? Well, there's like varying levels of your furry. Furry is mm -hmm. fur furry. I'm gonna call it furry is because it sounds like a disease. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's varying levels that I write. Oh, is there? Yeah. Okay, well, go on. So, like, there's entry level furries, which are like, oh, cat ears, cat tail, right? That's like bare minimum furries, right? <laughs> then you got like intermediate furries, which is like, um, like, humanoid like very humanoid with furry features so like your little cat lady that she's she's like intermediate furry where she still has like a human face but like fur like think about the movie cats or uh like lino from thundercats from the thunder, thunder, that's thunder, a very big cats. difference between the cats the play and lino because lino just has the ear and tails yeah. And cats, they're on, they're full on fur everywhere. Every ounce of them is fur. But they still have like human faces and facial features, right? Uh, and they have like the cat noses. And like bodies, for the most part. Like they stand up like humans and stuff. Yeah. Like, Kajitsa would considered to be like a little bit beyond intermediate, intermediate furry because they start to appear more like animals. Then you have like straight on furry, like. My Little Pony and people in fur suits, like that's full on for furry. Like, that's yeah, they cross they cross the threshold and they're not put back. What's what's what the mean? difference between a person dressed as a uh, dressed as a furry in a costume as opposed to a Khajiit? Because it's pretty much the same thing. Well, Khajiits are like not a hundred percent animal yet. Like, they still have some humanoid features. That's why I'm saying, like, Khajiits are past intermediate furries. And, like, fur suits, because they typically look a harm scent animal. No, they don't. Like, well, like, full, a full-on fursuit. They're, like, they're as animal as they can be with a person inside them. Exactly. And that's, like, you're just kind of embracing... It's like, at that point, you want to be an animal, so you're a furry. You know what I mean? I'm not entirely sure that... Okay. Sure. Okay. That's kind of like my definition of furryism. Uh, well, one last question. Have you ever known a furry? Yes. There was a couple at Home Depot. And, you know, because we worked overnights, we had a bunch of, like, huh. what, what most people would be considered weird people working for us. I, too, have known a lot of weird people in my time in you know in the army there's there's people of all kinds i did know a furry in um basic training mm. oh there we go that's what i was looking for and oh yes the hair last bit um except he was he actually was the stereotypical what you expect from a furry he was so open about it too. He was like, "Oh yeah, uh, I'm a furry. My spirit animal is a bear. I'm into butt stuff." Uh, <laughs> like he went the like completely 100% open about their sexuality and how they like using butt plugs and stuff. And I was like, huh. "Okay, I didn't ask about that, but <laughs> yeah, never. I never knew furries that would go that far, but." Uh... I think there's a big portion of people out there who like anthropomorph 
anthropomorphic characters just for the novelty or whatever because I, I like hear. it's heavily introduced in cartoons and stuff so like people are going to grow up liking certain characters and whatnot sure but there's then there's like this next you know there's this there's other group that just takes it a little too far yeah most furries <laughs> okay yeah i mean the reason the only reason i would say i i mean i wouldn't say most furries because i can't claim to know most furries most furries i've only known a few are very uh interesting i've only known a few and only one of them was the weird type so i mean i don't know it's not like i've gone to an actual furry convention or anything uh yep standing stone oh this is based on um the uh, oblivion well, right well i know back from morrowind but yes uh, i never played morrowind well. oh shit boy i'm choosing this just learn on skill learn everything 15 percent faster hell yeah i'm going with the lover wait 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 custom class Custom class. Primary focus. Let's do stealth. Yeah. Favorite attribute. Uh, probably stamina. I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of running. So stealth. Uh, let's do... <laughs> Actually, yeah. Let's increase that. <laughs> and speech. Sneak. And light armor. One. Oh, Hand it. And archery. God, there's oh, a lot. With all the skills in Skyrim. Um, any, mini, money, mode. Yep, this one. That was a lot. Because you're deep, so. I'm not sure what kind of start. Maybe we'll, I'll choose Outlaw in the Wilds. Yeah, that starting actually makes sense for the both of us. If I'm a thief. Let's do it. Let's do it. Like yeah, it. boy. What is this? A war pick? You you're a what? Me? What? Well, wait, no, that's just a bandit. <laughs> I thought you started right next to me. I was like, yo, what? By chance, do you remember where you spawned on the map? I'm northwest of Falkreath. Where did you spawn? I'm like northwest of Solitude. How did you spawn north of Solitude? That's the top of the like, map. The, yeah, I spawned on the, like, way north side of the map um on the coast well that gives us both the opportunity to make relatively the same distance travel to right white run if you wanted to go there or wherever else well i'm gonna take care of that i spawned at a bandit camp and now they're all dead uh, but they're friendly they were but john they weren't just bandits they were your bandits well, I couldn't control them, so now they're dead bandits. That's... <laughs> How about we meet up in... Wait, Morthal? Hmm. Do you have any active quests or anything? Nope. It's really just spawn, go where you want to go. Well, I um... I guess I'll run to Solitude and take the wagon to... Um, White Run would be beneficial for you as a barbarian because you can join the companions. Oh yeah. And then Riften would be beneficial for me because then I could join the Thieves Guild. How about we go to White Run? We'll meet up there, and then we'll travel up together to Riften. So I'm gonna have to travel to Solitude. I know I have a bounty on my head somewhere. Don't know where, but uh, I do. Well. It's probably going to be whatever first town we go to is going to be like, hey, you, you've got a bounty on your head. Time to go to jail. Okay. <laughs> but then here's the funny part. We'll break out of jail. Oh, uh, are and we, we going to be legit outlaws? No. Oh. Actually, I'll probably end up joining the Imperials because uh, uh, that way I can get close to the Thought War and then I can kill them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you've uh, explained that part yet. Uh, yes, see, my guy's a Nord, and my Nord, as a Nord, uh, Nords are racist, which is a common fact. Like, Elder Scrolls is one of those games that actually has racism in it. 
And uh, so he's racist against High Elves because High Elves are evil, at least in Skyrim. And uh, Dark Elves are cool, though. Uh, elves can say. How are yeah. High Elves uh, evil? Well, they try to control everything. Yeah, but like these, the High Elves in Skyrim are basically like cartoon, like Saturday morning cartoon villains. <laughs> like, really. All right. I think I've got everything that I could possibly want from this place. Uh, we're going to White Mountain. Yes. Well, you are. I'm already here. I might meet I you halfway. I'm almost there. Are you? Where is it about? On the carriage. Oh, you're at it's actually working this time? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'll meet you by the stables then. Look, it's like a jeets. Why are you hunched over? Um, are you sneaking right now? No. Oh, hmm. Wait, where are you right now? I'm talking to one of these Khajiits. There's no Khajiits here. Just Khajiit. There's... oh. Interesting. So I think we're running two separate instances, oh. but our player bodies are still in each other's instances. You're literally sitting next to him. Oh, no. oh. Okay. oh, things are getting a little buggy again. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Is it working for you? Yep, I'm driving to Reefton. I'm interested to see what this looks like from my end as you're well, traveling. It doesn't actually travel, it just boop, fades out. That's all it does, it's a fade. Hmm. Oh, you, I'm in you just. And suddenly yeah. you're just okay. I told you it's just a fade. That's all it does. So that's we just have to do it separately. Where do you want to go? <clears throat> all right, rift it. Ah, uh, yes, the gallows are looking lovely today. Oh yeah, I say fine. <laughs> They're not even connected this time, and there's just, they, they still hung a child this time. <laughs> the bastards. <laughs> oh, wolves! Wolves hunt in packs what? arisen. Oh, okay. I guess that was easy enough. Uh, I. Uh, oh, the guard's talking to me. I don't see him. <laughs> uh, he's probably up there in the corner. Um, so obviously a shakedown persuade. Yeah. You know, I've never failed that persuasion test. Hey, hey just, just let me have this. <laughs> I never pass persuasion checks in games. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's not a thing that ever happens. Huh. Have you tried playing a, like a, I don't know, it's someone who can actually talk to people? They probably don't understand you when you try to persuade them. You're like, <laughs> You're like, Meow, 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 meow. So like, huh? I don't understand. You don't, you understand this cat? No, 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 no. Say something you'll regret. Last thing the black that one. Hippity hoppity. Hippity hoppity. Hippity hoppity. The Black Briars have written in their. The old Alinus. I think you can. I think you can get her, like, marry her eventually, or get her as a companion. Yeah, she's. I'm pretty sure she's a marriageable companion. Or you have to clear a quest, which, in order to get access to those runes, you get to be level 14. Yeah. So what do you want to know? The kid. I'm passing all this persuasion checks. I used to run with that. I like that uh took a job with Naver after this. That mod that lets you use the birth signs and stuff. What are you doing? Me? Yeah. I'm sure you could use someone like that. Are you are you not in stealth right now? No. Oh, okay. You look like it. Now I'm in stealth. Oh, you, you stood up for a second. Now I'm standing up. 
Okay, yeah, now you're standing up. That's weird. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thieves Guild, I need to talk to the person here. Oh, well, you're having fun with Thieves Guild. I'm going to go outside and kill some wolves and stuff. Have fun! Khajiit needs to get coin. Alright, boy, I'm I'm ready. I was born ready. Let's do this. What you doing? I'm I'm uh I'm I'm not I'm not doing anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Of course. Why would you uh, be doing anything? Yeah, I'm I'm a perfectly normal legal citizen doing normal legal stuff. Naturally. Ooh, well these guys fighting out here. It'd be a shame if someone murdered one of you. Hey no. Hey no. Hey, 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 hey now. I'm wild, so they'll never see it. Uh, oh, wait, oh wait, no. Uh, I'm supposed to get it from this other place first, I think. Oh, oh wait, no, I, stop, stop, stop. Ow. I forgot. I completely forgot what I was supposed to be doing on this quest. I just accepted it. Ah! Uh, Is that the one you gotta, like, place the, like, stolen thing? Oh. oh. It's a good thing I have, like, freaking infinite lockpicks. No! <laughs> so close. Ah. Uh, no. <sighs> All right, let's try to be. Yeah, there we go. I'm about to level up from this. Gold, amethyst, and this garnet. That did I just steal from the wrong person? Or a little further. Yeah. Uh yeah, Madressi. This is this is who I was actually supposed to steal from. It's alright. Put a little more work in, in, you know, get a little more back, right? Naturally. Do you level up so fast now with the custom classes because you get bonus experience? Do you actually get bonus experience? Yeah, like doing skills that like you choose, your experience goes up way faster. Oh, cool. If you level up like other skills, it goes up a little bit slower. It's a wild horse, random horse up here. It's a blunt dude. Hey, I have a horse now. Oh, cool. I just found a wild horse or a horse out here with a dead bandit. Wait, you found the horse with the dead bandit? Yeah. Is that how it happened? Yeah, it actually is. <laughs> you just, just, like, there it. just so happens to be a dead person here, guys. I, don't know, I guess, mm, you know, this horse is mine now, I guess. Well, That's great. how it happened. It wasn't more like, hmm, you have something I need. I mean, I would have owned up to that because I just killed two hunters out in the wild, so. <laughs> All right, fair enough. All right, now uh, I have something that I would greatly benefit from your aid with. What's that? I pretty much, I mean, I guess I could stealth my way through. It'd be a lot easier with a barbarian just cracking skulls, getting me to the thieves' guild. Oh, okay, I can do that. So I'm gonna—I don't know how it's gonna react when I drop an item, so I'm gonna come over here by the forge and drop these daggers. If it acts anything like last time, you're gonna need to put it in a box or something that I can interact with. You don't see him on the ground? Nope. Okay. Um, let's find a box that doesn't count as the stolen one. Um, oh. Ah, over here. See this barrel? Yep. Go ahead and oh, don't open it yet. Nah, just let me know once you drop it in. Okay, one second. Yeah, so for it. people using this co-op mod, if you want to do player trading, you have to find an accessible container. And this is how you do player-to-player -player trading. All right. Where's the 
Or do you have to go for your quest? Alright, okay, so follow me. Don't jump too far. Uh. And in here. Oh no! But no! So. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, he's. Oh no.